Hey, girl friends, welcome back to my channel. It's Jazz, and I'm back with this beautiful flexi rise set. So, I'm not gonna waste your time, and let's get into how we got this done. So, I'm starting off with an old, dried out wash and go that is long overdue for a wash. I'm gonna be doing a detox today. So, if you have never done a clay max for your hair, this is one to really look out for. It's a hair scalp and skin detox. You can actually use this on your face if you want it. So, I used four tablespoons, which is equivalent to two ounces uh, according to the directions. And then you kind of add water to get the desired consistency. So, there's no set amount of water. I believe I used two tablespoons of water so you can get kind of that creamy consistency that's easy to apply. So like I said, I used four tablespoons of the clay powder for my entire head. I do have a lot of hair. So depending on how much you need, you can either make less or you can make two batches if you start use that as a starting point. I do have low density hair. So if you have a lot more strands than I do, then you might need more this is something that i am going to try to start doing once a month this is something that if you're suffering from dry hair the moroccan clay helps to remove the buildup so your products can successfully penetrate the strand leaving your hair softer and your curls more defined so if you are suffering from dry hair and you think you're having an issue with product buildup doing a hair detox once a month would be something great to add to your routine so as you can see, I used the entire batch on my head and these were the results immediately after rinsing it out. So I did follow up with a deep conditioner, of course, because I have to use a deep conditioner at all times. So this is gonna be strengthening and repairing. And if I did not mention, all of these products are vegan and cruelty free and pH optimized. So they're free of parabens, petroleum, mineral oil, sulfates, formic formaldehyde and animal testing so you know i love a deep conditioner i've been using this line on and off for a long time and you can already see the level of hydration that this deep conditioner is giving me so this is immediately after i rinsed out the deep conditioner just look at that look at that okay like come on don't skip on that deep conditioning step like trust me for styling, I'm gonna be using the hydrating leave-in conditioner. I'm gonna distribute this through my entire head and then I will be following up with the styler on each individual piece, just because I don't want my hair to completely dry before I actually get to that section. So I'll be using the intense hydrating potion on each section individually with a small dime size amount on each section. As always, please make sure you are brushing that product through to make sure you get an even distribution because you don't want a dry patch in the back. As always, the worst. As always with my flexi rods and my perm rod sets, I am setting these in a wrapping formation. I am not forming my hair around the rod, if that makes sense. You'll get two different curls if you do that. So if you see, I am twisting and wrapping it around in a circular motion and I'm not just forming my hair in the shape of the perm or the flexi rod that makes a big difference so unfortunately i did 46 perm rods that was not my goal but i didn't want to have large sections i wanted to have smaller sections just to make sure that this fully dried i did sit on the dryer for an hour before going to sleep just because i didn't want any problems and i wanted to get these out of my head first thing in the morning <laughs> so but if you don't want to sleep in these, I would just sit underneath the dryer if you can for about a good two hours or however long it takes to dry because sleeping in these is no fun. As you can see, I did kind of bend some of the pieces out of my way so that I could attempt to have a good night's sleep. But we all know how that goes. So before you take these out, please, please, please make sure your hair is fully dry. Damp is not dry. Slightly wet is not dry. Oh, only my roots is not dry because it's gonna ruin the style and you're gonna have a frizzy mess. So, and take your time taking these out. Please take your time because you don't want any unnecessary frizz after all that work with 46 perm rods because I know I didn't. So I'm slowing this down so you can see exactly how I'm taking these down with the utmost patience that I could muster up. Now, most importantly, other than making sure your hair is dry, please take your time when separating. Do you see these curls? 
Do you see any frizz? Do you see any frizz? Because I don't see any. I'm looking. I'm really trying to find some. But I don't see any frizz happening. So what you don't want to do is rush through separating and cause unnecessary frizz that you did not have to begin with. Okay? Honestly, this collection has never failed me on the definition, the shine, the moisture. It's always there every time. And especially because I use this clay mask. So what I'm going to do with this super growth oil is just a small, tiny bit on my scalp. And I'm going to give it a light massage just to get some oil on my fingers because I don't want any unnecessary frizz. So I know a lot of you are looking at this and like, this is too tight for me. So what I like to do is tug on each section and to give myself a little bit more length. But trust the process. Don't get to pulling out the combs and the dryers to give yourself more length on day one. Trust the process. You want to keep all this definition. So I'm doing a slight separation, the minimal amount that you could separate just to not have any roots showing. And then you'll see as the day goes on, I'm going to come back in later and show you the difference, how you have to let your, your curls settle just let them do their thing okay don't go crazy and think it's too tight give it some time it's just day one so i'll show you here on the next screen i'm loving these curls how i let the curls just fall and then i did go into the roots just a little bit and you can see how much of a difference that make i have a little bit more length and then this is going to carry over throughout the days and it's only going to get bigger each day because i mean it is tighter than what my normal styles are, especially a blown out style. But this wet set should at least last you for a week. This is one of those styles that are gonna be great for having a low manipulation style if you're trying to reduce breakage from you know, keeping your hands out of your hair all week. So let's get into how I tie this up. Just wanted to come back on here really quick and show y'all how I almost forgot to. This is how I tie my hair up. I already did it, but I really just pull, pull my hair up, tie a scarf around, and let the curls kind of hang loose. So if I like sleep on this side, my hair isn't rubbing up against anything. Or if you want, you could tuck everything in, but I kind of like to let them hang loose. And this is also a good way to give your style a little bit more stretch. Um, as the days go on. So, we are going to bed. Say goodnight. Goodnight. Somebody has a little booty cold, so. She say, I'm a little stuffy. I'm a little stuffy. <laughs> say, see you later, girlfriends. Yeah, later, girlfriends. <laughs> All right, as always, thank you guys for watching and I was able to help.